Hello and welcome to our tutorial video about the MIP C5 N5991 Valley Frame Test Automation Software. The Valley Frame MIP C5 N5991 software supports automatic control of M8195 AWG system. It allows configuration for single and multi lane testing of the DUT. These tests are implemented according to the C5 specification. The new button here is to configure the DUT parameters for the testing. We see that the Configure DUT panel is open in a separate window. We can select the number of lanes to be tested by using a drop-down menu. It allows to test up to three lanes depending on the selection of the AWG mode. The protocol selections depend on the DUT. If the DUT supports CSI, select CSI and vice versa. In the Test Parameters group, we have the choice between two options, Compliance Mode and Expert Mode. In Compliance Mode, the parameters for the calibrations and tests cannot be modified. We use the values defined in the MIP C5 CTS document during the tests. Whereas in Expert Mode, it is possible to change the property values. We can also test the DUT under stressed conditions. Let's look into more details on the subgroup called Receiver Test Configuration. This version supports 2.0 MIP C5 specification. We have the option to set the AWG mode as dual channel mode or 4 channel mode. In 4 channel mode, it allows the maximum HS data rates of 4.5 gigabits per second and it allows to use all 4 channels of the AWG module. With respect to multi lane testing, when we use the 4-channel mode, the maximum number of lanes which can be tested is 3. The dual-channel mode allows to use two AWG channels in one AWG module. The maximum HS data rate of the signal which can be generated in this mode is 9 gigabits per second. With respect to multi-lane testing, when we use dual-channel mode, it allows maximum two lanes to be tested. In this current configuration, we are going to test dual channel mode by selecting one lane. The BER reader is the default option. A custom BER reader can be selected to enable fully automated testing for all transmission modes. An implementation needs to be done based on the IBER reader interface. A manual for this is available in the software download page of our website. BER limit can be selected by using the drop-down list. Next, we have the option to select the HS symbol rate, the LP data rate and LP transition time according to the acquired means of testing. Idle voltage is the AWG offset value when the AWG is in stop status. We can provide the sequence files for HS, LP and behavioral patterns. The compliance patterns are loaded always by default. If the DOT needs to be tested with a different sequence, you can upload the sequence files using the Select Sequences button here. Using the Browse button, the sequence file for the respective pattern can be selected here in the folder. Here we can modify default timing parameters and the default levels to edit the HS and LP level values. LSB first. When selected, the least significant bit is transmitted first in the data pattern. It needs to be unselected if the most significant bit needs to be transmitted first. Triggered Start Select this checkbox to trigger a sequence in the signal. The data is looped until the trigger is initiated to let the data come out of the loop. Next is the Preamble option. If we check this, the preamble calibration is enabled at the sequence. By clicking on this drop-down menu, we can select one of the formats available. When the system and the DOT configuration is done, we click on the OK button. On the left side, we can find the procedure tree. Several subtest groups such as calibration, HS tests, semi-automated tests, LP tests, behavioral tests and manual tests. We see the setup procedure. It is run to reset the DUT for the tests. Prior to running the tests, we need to run calibrations. After selecting a test, we can change settings for the test or test groups on the right side of the window. Press the Start button. 
The connection diagram window will pop up, showing the necessary connection of the test fixtures, cables and accessories along with the connection description. A test report is generated during the procedure run. It contains all the relevant information about the test parameters, such as the set and the measured values. A green sign confirms that the tests were successful. During the procedure run, details of the steps performed can be seen in the Valley Frame log file here. Once the procedure is completed, we can have a look at the test results by double-clicking on the calibration. A table with results will pop up and document the results of the tests. Now we are going to select the HS test and click the Start button. And again, a connection diagram will show us how to connect our instruments and cables. During the test, a report is generated containing all the relevant information for this test. Pop-up windows give us the relevant information. We can save the results here. It also can be loaded using the load button here in the next run without configuring the DOT again. The calibration and test results can be exported here as a workbook using the export button. And here we can reset all the parameter values to default by pressing the reset button. Thank you for watching. And we hope we were able to give you an idea about the N5991 MePC5 Valley Frame Test Solution.